get the snakes and shoot them? Yeah, yeah. All right. Good morning, or should I say, good afternoon. Holy crap. I think I sleep in past noon less often than there's a blue moon, which is not that often. I guess blue moons happen more often than people think, actually. You know what a blue moon is? Let me know in the comments down below if you know what a blue moon actually is. Apparently I needed some sleep. Does that count as jet lag? Does sleeping in past noon count as jet lag? I mean, I was up till like three something in the morning last night, so does it, does it count? Does it count? How's the floor look? Pretty decent, huh? See, all this stuff is gonna get moved, and this is where the new cages are gonna go as soon as they get here. And I'll, that means I'll have to move those guitars as well because they're gonna go up to almost the ceiling. I decided I don't wanna use the skill saw to make those 45 degree cuts. I wanna be perfect and light up nicely, so I'm gonna go back to storage and pick up my miter saw, which is an awesome saw that you will see because it's freaking sweet. And uh, before we do any of that though, I think we should probably pop in on the snakes. What do you say? Here's Candice. She is definitely gravid with what I'm hoping will be Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets. Here's the hoping. Dot is also gravid. She's a bamboo female and she is gonna be popping out hopefully some pastel Enchi bamboos, and which will all be 100% Hetford Clown. The queen. Clown pie, see she's going into shed and it should be what I'm assuming is going to be her pre-lay shed. So she's in shed right now. She's usually much more orange than this. And uh, she should be popping out some coral glow pides, possibly yellow belly, all 100% head for clown. Bernice doing her super fire thing. Uh, what's going on here? You're not gravid, are you? So when, when I palpate a female, I like to use a little piece of paper towel in my hand just to reduce the friction on the body so she can slide through real easy. Nope, nothing happening. She's just laying really funny. This girl just shed out. What's going on in there, Missy? This girl hasn't eaten in half a lifetime. Most beautiful banana you ever did see. There's proud mama to the babies that I will be taking pictures of today these babies right here. Oh yes, Firefly Clown, looking awesome. You guys will get to see how I set up my picture booth today. Is that poop on your head? There we go. Yeah, man, she had poop on her head. Definitely not good for business. Got that cleaned up. Also going to take pictures of this girl, even though she is almost most definitely staying here. She's looking beautiful. This is what we believe to be a firefly and she clown. And that's it for the snakes that we're going to take pictures of, just the three. Oh, Junior looks like he needs to be cleaned. We'll get, get him out. Yeah, I can see you're dirty back there. Still a good looking snake. Let's put you in here while I get you all cleaned out up there, okay bud? For those of you that are brand new to the channel, I just wanted to introduce Halo. She is my number one snake here. She's a reticulated python, lavender, motley, tiger, het titanium, and she is just my go-to snake whenever I'm going to do educational events or anything of that nature because she is so mellow. Even though she just tried to take my face off when I opened her enclosure, she thought I was coming in with some rats, which is why I always use a hook when going in for these big snakes. Because even with a mellow, mellow girl like Halo, these snakes have amazing feeding responses. If you're planning to go in and get them, a hook is always in your best interest. But there she is. I think we're gonna hang out for a little while. Hello there. I'm not.
not going to do a vlog every single day. It's This is pretty much a daily vlog, but definitely not every single day of the week, 365 a year. That being said, most days I probably will just because I, I really enjoy doing this stuff. But one thing I would like to know is something you guys would like to see on a daily basis. Whether it's an animal, whether it's me asking a question, whether it's me saying something about myself in particular, anything, anything at all that you'd like to see every single vlog. Let me know down below. All right, let's go get that chop saw, put the finishing touch on this floor, huh? Looks like it might be getting ready to rain around here. Is that a drop I felt? That's not good. You better get this done quick. Okay, so I just found a bag of stuff that I thought Hillary had accidentally given away to Goodwill that included CDs and all of these keys. I had been so upset that I thought that she gave these to Goodwill and she was so upset that she thought that she did. Man, she's gonna flip out. Hey you guys, come downstairs, bud. Is that the bag? What? No way! Yeah. So I didn't get rid of it? No. Nope. Ah! I gotta admit, she took that way better than I thought she was going to. It's definitely been sprinkling a bit around here, so I'm gonna get all my cuts lined out before I pull that chop saw out of the truck. Go, go, go. Cuts are done, trim is in. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I take pictures of my snakes. Light tent? That's not a light tent. That's the light tent. The thing about this is it's compact. Then BAM! Dad? 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 A little soft white background. Not my tip, boy. I used to set up all kinds of different flashes, off-camera flashes coming from outside the tent and up top and all this crazy stuff and I found that if I just use my DSLR with a flash on top, I get the best light, the easiest setup too. So I'll usually stick something in there like, I don't know, just whatever I have laying around like, like here, we'll just stick this in. Just anything that has some color to it that I can get the light right and get my settings good on the camera, settings good on the flash. This is actually uh, some batteries and a charger that I gotta send back to Brian because I stole his batteries and charger for his camera. But right now I'm shooting at shutter speed of 1 200th of a second, aperture 7.1. I'm gonna change my ISO to 200 to get the best quality possible. Well, I guess I should set it to 100 for that. I've got my flash set at one quarter power. So my white balance is set to flash since flash is my main source of light. You want to make sure your white balance is good or you're going to get incorrect colors on your snake. So that's pretty good. Settings are good. Got the flash set at one stop over one quarter power. Is this all blah 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 technically? You just get the snakes and shoot them? All right. That's a winning pose right there. Uh, 
This is my shooting assistant for the day, Eli. Oh. Talented shooting assistant, Mr. Eli Scrimmins. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another winning pose. but it's worth it in the end. I'm about to print out these cards and one thing I want to tell you guys is that if you find any of these snakes that I've got here for sale on Morph Market or anywhere else and you found them here first via my YouTube channel, I offer $100 off for all you guys just because of the phenomenal support that I get from you folks. It's priceless but I figure the least I can do is give you a deal on some of these snakes. So. There it is. Uh, let's print these cards out and check them out. Bam! And that's how we do that. Now I put them in a little protective sleeve and they're ready to go. Oh, <laughs> hello there. So if they're staying here, they get a name. If I'm not planning to keep them, I don't give them a name. I leave the naming up to whoever decides to pick these little beauties up. I gotta go take that battery pack to the UPS store, get it back to Mr. Barcheck where it belongs, and that's it, guys. Y'all take care of yourself. Take care of each other.